sent to Wuhan to join epidemic fight. How does China combat novel coronavirus? Wuhan, the epicenter of the novel coronavirus outbreak, has reported more than 40,000 confirmed cases and 1,000 deaths. In this hospital beds were occupied, and medics were stretched to the limit even before the outbreak. Tens of thousands of cases in over 40 days. What would China do? To contain the epidemic, the central government has dispatched medical personnel from across the country to Wuhan. Over 180 medical teams, totaling 20,000 doctors and nurses, are in the city. To help the critically ill, ICU staff and must work around the clock physically and mentally exhausted. That's why more than 7,000 medics from other places are ICU staff. More than 4,000 medics are from the military. 1,400 of them are based at the newly built Huo Shen Shan Hospital, the first dedicated hospital built to treat patients infected with the virus. Infections were also found in many provinces, but everyone knows Wuhan is the center of prevention and control. The Chinese idiom, all should offer a hand when someone is in need, is relevant now more than ever. And the central government is following the principle to mobilize all the resources to address the epidemic. Liaoning province has reported more than 100 confirmed cases. The provincial capital, Shenyang, is about 2,000 kilometers away from Wuhan. But it took just two days for 46 specialists and seven vehicles to answer the call and arrive in Wuhan. At least 22 national emergency medical rescue teams have been sent to Wuhan from Great. On February 9th, more than 5,000 medics from across the country flew into Wuhan on board over 40 flights. They will also help other cities in Hubei. 19 provinces or municipalities are asked to partner with cities in Hubei to support them during this time. Each city will be supported by one or two provinces or municipalities. This has proven effective in the past. For example, the economic and human resources support offered after an earthquake hit Sichuan province in 2008 and technological, talents, and economic support for development in both Xinjiang and Tibet. Prioritizing challenges and reaching out across the country.